Redstone's Hockley. Uh, this is a video about choosing parts for a remix. Let's go. So this is a track by a band called Sean Grant and the Wolf Gang. Uh, they are an artist that did a remix for our uh, CollaborateMusic.com um, remix website. Um, they did a track on there. We're going to release, uh, start releasing one of their tracks as our first release. Uh, in a couple of months, uh, so I'm going to show you how I would choose the parts for a remix. And you can see on the screen here, I've already taken out basically pretty much all of the all of the song. I don't really want to listen to most of the song or the song at all if I can help it. When I'm doing a remix, I like to work to what I'm actually uh, going to do with it. I don't like to um, I don't like to hear what the original sounded like. Um, because it gives you too much of an idea about what the original was um, and I tend to lose a bit of uh, creativity from doing that so I've basically stripped out everything um, except for the vocals and a bit of guitar here at the moment we need to go through all the files I've got here in the, in the audio bin or project or whatever they call it now in Logic 10 uh, project is in Logic 10 um, so We've got basically let's play a bit of the vocal here. Found a central Cuban where there was born a child, a boy not unfamiliar to be as rough to mind. So, for a song like this, I'm going to want to use the, the, the vocal because it's a very strong vocal, the songs are very vocally sung. So I'm going to want to use the vocal on there. All I need to do is go through and work out what other parts, any other instrument parts, any other sounds I want to use from the track. Um, and another reason why I like to, to listen to the original is because it just gives you too much of an idea. You might, you might, uh, you might get an idea from it. You, you might not. I tend not to do it. There's a guitar part here. So I might just take a little stab off of that there. So let's just chop that round about there. Get rid of that bit. Okay, so let's just leave those first four bars and just see how that sounds. Yep, that's pretty good. Okay, so we're going to listen to some of the other stuff we've got here now. Okay, that could be quite interesting. Just double that up with a, do a deeper one. Come on, there we go, into there. Let's just do the same thing here. We'll just cut that yeah. uh, middle there. Okay, that'll do for that. We've got enough vocals in there. Uh, also, we've got lead guitar. Right. So I can already tell I'm not going to use that. Dun, 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 dun. But I'm not going to have that in there. That's not uh, dancing enough for me. That's not, not 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 for me that bit either. So you just go through everything. If you get everything, all the audio files, which is normally what you would get for a remix, uh, you would get given all the separate audio files like I've got here. Um, you can go through everything. It's great to go through everything and find some great sounds in there. Um, but it also gives you a good idea if you haven't, uh, you know, you, you, you know the style of music you do. You've got to make sure it's going to fit to the style of music that you make as well. 
So anyway, we like this guitar here. Okay, let's add some of that as well there. Perfect, we'll just shove that in there. That might work over something, it's quite interesting, it's got an interesting sound. So I reckon that's probably all the parts I'm going to use for this song. Um, so join me in the next video when I'll show you how we start to put it all together and how I would start to build a remix from these parts here. Thank you.